What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and today we get to talk about Maki, another buffed up UE character, just like Ash, who has become pretty damn astronomical, guys. She is so... I can't even begin to tell you how much stronger she is. It is redonkulous as far as how much power she actually has now. And if you take a look at the kit, guys, the big thing about this is, yes, they did all these buffs, and all these buffs are amazing. I'm actually really happy they made an interrupt skill on that second skill. That actually helps in PvP quite a bit. It can even help in PvE, but all the buffs are really nice. But honestly, this here, this increase the energy expulsion effect of all teammates, including self, by 1.5 times, is nuts. This can make her easily one of the best supports in the game, period, especially when you see what energy expulsion actually does. It is actually a ridiculous uh, effect that Shizuru has in her kit. So that's exactly what we're going to focus on instead of, you know, looking at how to play her because honestly, she's a pretty easy character to play. But when you jump into the core effects and you take a look at her uh, apply energy expulsion effect to all teammates, if you look before here, it says gains ethereal energy upon using an active skill up to five you do five stacks and using the finisher skill at max ethereal energy uses all of it and provides energy explosion for 20 seconds so whenever you do your default skill while you have five stacks of this ethereal energy you're going to get this energy explosion which is increases attack by 350 percent 350 percent and active skill damage by 200 percent uh this is bonko this is absolutely bonkers, guys. Redonkulous. I know that's not even a word, but redonkulous damage that is added to your teammates. This is wild as hell that she can do that, right? And this change they did has multiplied this effect by 1.5 times. Think about that. 1.5 times stronger than this. I mean, it's, it's a lot, guys. Like, she has become so much stronger that's not even funny but even if she wasn't that strong her support passive is nuts you just gotta know how to play with her to really get it off because you gotta get those five stacks of ethereal energy now real quickly guys i do have five of the max stones on her and i do also have some plugins on the girl these are not the best plugins by any means guys like by not at all i mean yes active skill too that's okay really what you want guys is blast skills for this girl all three of her skills are blast skills that's what you want you want blast skill damage or like i say in all my videos guys you want momentum for tower of illusion and the plug-in plant and the ages challenge but blast skills for just ultimate damage and a lot of pve game modes is just nuts and then we're using this set right here right which is the original ash saga set and then we're using these two option cards one increasing active skill damage by 40 percent and then increasing all attack by 50 percent which is nice and if you take a look at her 3pg if you do have this thing it increases the attack of all allies by 30 percent right for 10 seconds after using the 3pg so she's just got support built all into i mean really man whenever she first showed up i did so much testing with her and i really wasn't that happy with her but with the changes that they did for her they've actually made her relevant for a long time my friends they have made her relevant for a long time and as always guys attack penetration would be first you want to max out the second and third skill and then you do the first skill and then you of course went to the ue break and the phantom ue break the phantom ue break guys all it really does is just buff up uh maki right increases own attack by 50 percent and of all twist teammates so you know a character like ash does get that buff so for ash insane especially on top of that core passive they increase attack by 350 percent and increases active skill damage by 200 percent just nuts man just nuts so we're not gonna waste no time we're just gonna jump in here and we're gonna jump into a little absolute war real quick and do a little run in here just to see what's going to happen here we're going to spend a few rubies no big deal no big deal and we'll see how she does now something about maki is she has a lot of range in her skills and her first skill is hyper armor so if you can avoid that getting taken away from you her survivability is actually gonna be really really good uh, a lot of times whenever I play with Maki, usually I'll just dodge first time. Guile can be a tricky little bastard, so you gotta watch him. So usually I'll dodge. Alright. And boom. I mean, we... <laughs> that, uh, that didn't work out exactly like I thought it would, but hey, we still got it done. Not bad. And we'll do a quick little run here with Rugal. Easy. First skill. Hold it down. Let it fly. Don't, 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 don't second skill hold the third skill immunity finish and then let off the third skill and you get the win real easy with rugal 
Nice, nice, nice. But yeah, that, <laughs> with Maki, that didn't work out exactly like I thought it would because Guile kept guarding my attacks. What a punk, man. What a punk, right? That's just not right even doing that. But let me go into good old Guild Raid, right? Let me go into good old Guild Raid, guys, and show you... Uh, what I'm talking about with the Ethereal Energy, so you know what to look for if you're trying to use her as a support. And as far as playing with Maki, I'm just going to use Mukai as a striker because he's a character that everybody got for free. In fact, he showed up twice available to us for free, and he does decrease the skill cooldown, gives the attack, uh, which is nice, increases team members' defense by 17%, and she is a defensive fighter, so that can be pretty helpful. So we're just gonna, I'm just going to show you guys what the Ethereal Energy does. I'd rather show you guys in the championship, but unfortunately I can't because she's not allowed in there right now. So... Let's see what happens here. So whenever you use your active skills, guys, like you see the one here, you see the two, that's your ethereal energy right there, okay? You see a three now, you see a four, and now you see a five. And once you do all those active skills, you would do your default, and then you would switch to your next character, and you would start doing a bunch, a bunch of damage. And that's pretty much how her support actually works. You just want to run through your skills, get off your ethereal energy up to five, and then... Uh, Hit your default and then switch to your next character. But what we're going to do is we're just going to see how strong good old Maki actually is. And the 3PG really is really spectacular, man. I mean, seeing the uh, Yadamir's uh, get it done is nice. Okay. We're going to hit that. We're going to hit that. And let's go. All right. And as you guys can see, Maki's doing pretty crazy. Now, I'm going to show you guys at the end of this run... I'm going to show you guys just how weak Maki was before. I'll show, because I haven't changed anything on my account at all. And when I show you the amount of damage that she did when she ever, she was introduced in the game uh, seven months ago. Okay, we're just going to hit that default. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. And, I mean, <laughs> look at this damage, guys. She is wild, man. And she's building up that uh, Phantom State bar really, really nicely, which is awesome. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me, guys. I got some phlegm in my throat for some reason, man. Kind of had a bad cough lately. I don't know what the hell's going on. Iframe, iframe. Ah, look at that iframe. Nice. Now, what I could have done is I could have hit... There we go, and nice, I got the build up. There we go, nice, 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 nice. He's getting the Raging Storm off on me quite a bit, but if you look at the power that this girl has now, it's unreal. I'm telling you guys, when I show you what she did uh, seven months ago, whenever she was introduced into this game, you're going to be like, what? Like, seriously, guys, it is redonkulous. Okay, now I'm going to bring in Mukai. Now, the one thing about uh, Geese doing his Raging Storm is that he can interrupt us, right? Which is kind of annoying, but she's already done 1.4 trillion. 1.4 trillion. Let's see if uh, Geese does an iframe here. Mm. We'll pause. We have five stacks. There we go. Now, Geese is going to blow up on me here in a little bit. I will say that Shizuru does kind of help Keep uh, Geese being uh, stagnant. Yeah, we kind of got screwed there a little bit. We kind of got screwed there a little bit. We couldn't quite build up the Phantom State Bar quite fast enough because the Geese interrupted us with his Raging Storm, which is always annoying, especially when you're doing solos. But it's all good, right? Five stacks. And you really always want to make sure, guys, that you have... There we go. Let's see if we can build this thing up. But, I mean, two trillion already, man. This is what that this is what I'm talking about that and that is so annoying uh, whenever geese does that bastard but it's all good it is what it is but I I just I was really shocked by the damage the girl puts out now all right well wait let's go let's go now geese is gonna blow up on us again here. He's going to blow up on us, do his Raging Storm, unfortunately. Yes, I knew it. Yeah, I kind of knew he would. But it's all good, it's all good. And the crazy thing is, you know, like, she doesn't even have the right dot for this. All she has is Starlight. And it's a very powerful Starlight. But, nonetheless, 
it isn't the right dot. Okay. And look at that, guys. 2.7 trillion, right? 2.7 trillion, okay? That is ridiculous, especially compared to what I'm going to show you guys here in a second, all right? Like, this is wild, what you're about to see, which is this. Look at the score that she did seven months ago with the same cards. Yes, I have two different option cards on her now compared to what I had in this video, but still, two option cards, it's not going to make that kind of difference. These buffs are astronomical for her, all right? All, all, all on her own. She's so much stronger, it's not even funny, right? It'll make her a lot better in, like, Tower of Illusion. It'll make her better in the plug-in plans. She's going to be 10 times the support that she was, and that alone makes it worth it, really, to level the character up, right? Especially if you need a strong red. So I'm really, really loving Maki, guys. Like, I'm so happy they made her so much stronger than what she was, and there's definitely room for more to grow. You know, there's definitely room to grow as far as her power levels, getting better plugins, and getting transcended cards on her. Those cards that you just looked at on her are not transcended for a balanced or for a defensive fighter, right? Which she is. They're they're set up. They're transcended for an attack type fighter, which she's not. She doesn't even get those benefits. So it really is a testament to how strong Maki actually is. But let me know how you're all feeling about Maki, man. I think she's really well represented compared to what she was. Because whenever she initially was uh, in the game, I was really disappointed with her damage. I was like, oh man, this just isn't very good. I mean, a UE character getting 600 and some billion doing a solo uh, is actually terrible. Especially considering what you guys are seeing from these characters, what they're capable of doing these days. And it's good to see that Maki is up in that club, just like a lot of others which is nice. So guys, let me know what you think about Maki, and I do stream on Twitch and YouTube. The link to Twitch is in the description below, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care, and have a good one. See everybody. Take care.